Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Channel Burton Entertainment. I'm starting on my phone here today because I want to show you um, part of my movie collection. What I mean by that is um, I was going to show you every single movie that I have in one sitting, um, but there's actually so many movies that I figured the video would just be too long and people would just kind of lose interest if it's too long of a video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a three-part video, ser mini-series, I guess you could say, of me showing off my movies. I don't have my movies in alphabetical order or anything like that. Um, I just have them set up by category and I have them labeled here in my drawer. And so I'm gonna show you the first uh, batch of movies that we're gonna be looking at here and then I'll try to upload throughout the week kind of showing off my movie collection because movies are a big part of my life. It's something that I wanna do for my career. So let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna kind of be looking at today and we will go from there. So as you can see here, this is my, I'm actually uploading a video right now to a reaction, my dirty desk. Um, so as you can see, there are a ton of movies, like tons, there's some up here, some right here, and then there's a ton down here. So one of the reasons why is that I gotta get everything organized. That's like another thing that I have to do as well. So, so what I mean is I have three drawers full of movies, like to the brim, just full of movies. And so they're all labeled and where I put the movies. So for example, we're gonna be looking at these movies today. It's my Star Wars, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I have others in there, kinda of, I just didn't know where to put them. Um, I got the DCEU movies and then I got the just regular DC movies. So we're gonna be looking at that here. Those are the other three categories we'll show in the others, on the other on, uh, the other video, sorry. But we're gonna be starting with this section right here. We're gonna look at all these movies inside of this drawer. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I was able to get out all the movies from my first drawer, and so I'm going to show you all the movies that were in there, and then um, what I'll do is I'll kind of break them up, but there's so many movies, I just want to make, try to make this as, as organized as I possibly can, and so um, each, I'll show, so I kind of, kind of collect movies in a weird way, so again, I don't alphabetize them, I kind of just put them in categories, like for example, I have all the Christopher Nolan's movies in one area, I got the DC Extended Universe one area, Marvel, Star Wars, then I have a category in here. Like, I don't know where to put it, so I just put it in the other category, just because it's easy for me to find if I want to watch a movie. And so there's a ton of movies here. We're going to go through each stack one at a time. I'll cut the video, and then we'll go through that. And this will be part one of a three-part um, video series that I'll be doing, making on uh, my movie. So super excited to get that started off, and let's go ahead and get it going. All right, so we're gonna start just simply with the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Um, I actually just put out a video today of reacting to the Phase Four movie, so if you want to watch that, that is on Channel Burton Entertainment. It's on my playlists, and it's on the channel. Like, it's like the most recent video I uploaded. Um, so definitely check that out if you want to. But we're, again, we're just gonna go in categories here. So we'll start with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and uh, we'll go through these pretty quick because I know most people have probably seen most of these movies, and I know a lot of them, all of them, pretty much are on Disney Plus except Spider Man, which I know they're working. On a deal for um, but I like having physical copies it's just fun to collect I just got to find more room to put all my movies so we're going to get started here so Iron Man the Incredible Hulk Iron Man 2 probably one of my least favorite in the Marvel Cinematic Universe um, definitely near the bottom for me Four, also another movie I'm kind of near the bottom, not a huge fan of, uh, of, of this movie, but I still collect them all because I'm a purist in some ways. Captain America, the first Avenger. I actually, I like all the Captain America movies and I'm excited they're doing the fourth one with Anthony Mackie and um, I'm super excited about that. If you haven't watched Falcon Winter Soldier, great show. The original Avengers, the first one, uh, still a classic in my opinion. I know Joss Whedon has been in the limelight lately with Justice League and stuff, but he did do a good job in this movie and I still really enjoy this movie quite a bit. Iron Man 3, I've liked that, I've liked that movie more and more every time I watch it. Thor The Dark World, um, still one of my least favorite Marvel movies. I actually like it better than the first one, but it's still kind of near the bottom for me. Captain America The Winter Soldier, one of my favorite standalone Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. A super fun spy thriller, um, and we also get introduced to the Falcon in this movie, so really good film. Guardians of the Galaxy, without question, probably my favorite standalone Marvel movie. Nothing, knew nothing about these characters, and I came out loving this movie, 
and I could pop this in at any time and love it. It's seriously one of the best superhero movies ever. I absolutely love this movie. Avengers Age of Ultron, definitely my least favorite of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like Avengers movies, but still a, a pretty decent film. Ultron's funny, and you know, it's just, it's a, it's a decent film. It's not bad by any means, it's just my least favorite of the four Avengers movies. Ant-Man, a definitely hidden surprise. I love this movie. Captain America Civil War, one of the best blockbusters I've seen in theaters. Super, super fun. Um, I think everybody's seen this movie. We got introduced to Spider-Man and Black Panther, so you can't go wrong there. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, I actually really like this movie a lot. A lot of people weren't a big fan of it, but you know what? I liked it. It was hilarious. I prefer the first one, but the second one's still good. Doctor Strange. Spider-Man Homecoming. I got the big old, like, a bunch of stuff you can collect. It's kind of, it looks like a notebook. It's pretty cool. They do that at Target sometimes. I always like to pick those up. Thor Ragnarok, the best, one of my favorite Marvel movies, and it's the third one in a franchise, and Thor Ragnarok is super sick. It's also kind of, it's got like an uh, exclusive, like, art styles and those types of things, so nothing really that special. It's just kind of cool to pick up, so that is Thor Ragnarok. If I can get this case back on. There. Black Panther. Avengers Infinity War. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I love the Ant-Man movies. I cannot wait till the next one. Super excited about that. Captain Marvel. Don't hate this movie, but it's definitely not my favorite. And then we have uh, Avengers uh, Endgame, of course, the best Avengers of them all. And of course, I left it in my drawer by accident, <laughs> can't forget this one, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, super great, almost a game, super great movie, great way to close out Phase 3, and uh, great movie. So again, that was my Marvel Cinematic Universe collection, so I got a couple more stacks I'm going to show you, and then we'll continue from there. All right, so now we're gonna do the Star Wars movies. Um, I love Star Wars. Star Wars is my favorite franchise of all time. Um, I have very harsh opinions on the new, the sequel trilogy. Definitely not my favorite thing ever. But again, I'm such a purist and I'm such a hypocrite because I don't like any of the newer movies, but I still buy them because I love Star Wars in general. So we'll go ahead and just go through those and then we'll go into the next list here. And again, we'll go through these pretty quick because, I mean, it's Star Wars. Everybody has seen, most people have seen Star Wars. So I kind of have them in order. So I'll kind of show you what I mean here. So we're going to start with the uh, prequel trilogy. So again, this is uh, The Phantom Menace, Attack the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. These are unfortunately um, not my favorite movies. I actually do prefer this trilogy over the sequel trilogy. Uh, Phantom Menace is not terrible in my opinion um attack the clones is bad and revenge of sith is uh really good so i love i love just having physical copies of this, especially star wars so had to buy those so those this is the prequel trilogy got all three on blu-ray i figured just save some space and just get them all uh, just in one spot makes it easier for me to fit my movies all right so technically next in the uh in the star wars timeline with the movies Next would be actually be Han Solo. Solo, a Star Wars story. This movie went through so many problems and it finally came out. And honestly, I don't hate this movie. I think it's actually a really fun action-adventure movie. Um, you get to see the Kessel Run. You get to see Han Solo kind of an adventure when he was younger. I don't know. I really like this movie. Like, it didn't do very well at the box office and also on Rotten Tomatoes didn't do very good. But to me, I thought it was a fun Star Wars movie. If it never got made, I would not ask for a Han Solo movie, but I never get to make that choice. So since it did come out, and we do have it, I will say I do enjoy Solo, a Star Wars story. The next in the timeline would be Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and I absolutely love Rogue One. Rogue One is up there for me with, like one of the better Star Wars movies. I mean, just that, that scene alone with Darth Vader was so good. 
this is like for a movie like for a big Star Wars fan if you're like jumping into this movie saying like I'll just watch it cold you're gonna have no idea what's going on but for everybody who's seen especially A New Hope you're really I think gonna like this movie I love this movie you actually get a war in Star Wars it's actually really cool to see super awesome just great great movie okay then after those would be the original trilogy which is going to be A New Hope The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi um, all three of these movies are great. Empire Strikes Back, of course, for most people, takes the cake. Empire is actually one of the movies that inspired me to want to make film. Like this movie, like The Empire Strikes Back, The Dark Knight, like movies like that inspired me to be like, man, it'd be so cool to like make movies one day. And Empire did that for me. And I love Empire Strikes Back. Again, it's just the uh, all three are in one. Really nice. And this is unfortunately the one with excuse me with all the weird edits uh, George Lucas did it's not the original I did hear that they are going to release like the original 1977 on blu-ray with no those weird add-on like the special edition stuff if that happens I will happily drop this and get the new ones because that would be great okay so now we're getting to the sequel trilogy so we got Star Wars The Force Awakens this is without question the best one out of the three new films it set up some really cool stuff um, to hopefully continue on and of course we got screwed over by The Last Jedi now I do not like this movie but again I am such a purist I ha I'm just Star Wars and I have a hate love like it's, a, it's like a bad relationship where it's like it treats me bad, but I still keep coming back for more. The Last Jedi is, without question, my least favorite Star Wars film. It's It has some cool scenes in it. Like, all the stuff looks pretty cool. Like, it really does. Like, it's really awesome. But it just makes so many weird choices and so many bad... Uh, the movie's just bad. I'm sorry for those who like it. I don't judge people who do it. Some people say it's their favorite. You know what? I'm still going to like you as a friend. It's just not my preferred movie. And then the last one, of course, we got The Rise of Skywalker. This movie was more of a disappointment than it was just like, it wasn't terrible, but it was just so disappointing. The way it ended, like all the problems the movie had and changing directors last second, like it was just such a misfire of a film, man. It really was disappointing. But again, I have to own it because it's Star Wars. All right, so that was my Star Wars collection. We'll go on to the next list. Alright, so for this list here, I'm going to kind of combine a couple, because I have, I want to show off my DC movies, and then I have the Christopher Nolan movies, then I have some Marvel movies that aren't in the extended universe, and they're really short, so I'm just going to show these all off at once, and kind of make this just kind of one part here. So these are the Marvel movies that aren't associated with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, we have Venom, we have Deadpool, which apparently is going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I'm really excited about that. That's going to be really cool. And they did say that it's going to stay rated R, which I think is really, really good. And then we have Deadpool 2, which is a great film, super funny. And then we have Logan. I'm not a big X-Men fan, but I do know the story of Wolverine, and this is one of the best. It's so violent, so gory. Man, that's a cool cover, too. I didn't realize how cool it's like gold and... Oh, yeah, it's really, really good, man. This movie's great. Super good movie. Okay, so I'm going to show off my just my DC movies. Um, I'm going to combine them with the Christopher Nolan movies here as well. So we have The Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. I think this movie's a masterpiece. I know it only got like a 69 on Rotten Tomatoes, but, man, I just love the way they told this story and the way that it worked. I just thought it was great. I think this movie's like a 10 out of 10 for me. I really enjoyed this film. Then we have the original Batman movies. So we have Batman, Batman Returns with both Michael Keaton, Batman Forever with Val Kilmer, and then we have Batman and Robin with George Clo uh, George Clooney and Arnold Schwarzenegger. These movies, well, actually, these two movies are great. Batman and then Batman Returns are really good, but these two are so bad. But my friend bought them for me, and honestly, they're such guilty pleasures. I just can't help but pop them in sometimes and laugh. And they're just, I love Batman, so it's just cracks me up okay so now we have uh also the dark knight trilogy this is batman begins the dark knight and the dark knight rises probably my favorite trilogy of all time like all three of the movies are great like i think they're all perfect especially the dark knight um just a super super good all three of them are great 
Batman Begins was great. It had some problems with the action. The Dark Knight was wonderful. And The Dark Knight Rises, man, I know, had a lot of plot holes in it. But man, this is a great film. Su all three of them are just super great. Super, super awesome. And I did that one first because I tied that into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but not the Marvel, I'm sorry. It was a part of the DC collection. Now I'm going to show you my Christopher Nolan movies because Christopher Nolan uh, directed those as well. And then we'll go on to the next list. So we have... Uh, this is all Christopher Nolan movies, by the way. And I just did a podcast on that. It's on my channel. If you want to listen to my ranking of them. So we have Following, Christopher Nolan's first movie. We have Memento. Great, great film. I love this movie. Insomnia. Really underrated movie. Robin Williams did a good job in this movie. Rest in peace, brother. We got The Prestiged. Inception. Interstellar, Dunkirk, and Tenet, which just came out a little while ago. So it actually just dropped on HBO Max. So if you are kind of unsure about watching it, you can watch it on HBO Max now um, to kind of get your feel on it. Personally, again, the more I've watched Tenet, the more I've really enjoyed it. Um, and after watching it, it makes a lot more sense. So definitely give Tenet a shot. It's definitely a really good film. Okay, so we got a few more. And then we'll go from there. Do you see why I want to make break this video into three parts? Because let me tell you, there's a lot of movies to go over. Okay, so now we're going to do the DC Extended Universe. This is like, well, I won't tell you about it. I will just show you one. Okay, so to start things off here, we have Man of Steel. I really enjoy Man of Steel. I know a lot of people don't like this movie, but for me, it's definitely probably my favorite Superman movie. I know the old one with Christopher Reeves. Some of them... The first, the first and second one were pretty good. Super awesome. Um, but I do like Man of Steel quite a bit. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition. I do like the Ultimate Edition of this movie. Um, the movie does have problems, but you know what? I don't hate this movie like everyone else does. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. Mainly because I love these three right here. They're my favorite superheroes. So I'll, Batman's my favorite, but I do like these two as well. So I'm a little biased. <laughs> All right, uh, Suicide Squad Extended Edition. I do not like this movie, but again, just like with Star Wars, I'm very purist when it comes to this kind of stuff. So the Extended Edition didn't really help, but there is rumors of an error cut of this film, like a three hour cut. I would love to see that. I'm sure it actually is probably pretty good. Just like what happened with Justice League. The first Wonder Woman, what can I say? Great superhero movie, way better than one thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, man, this movie's great. I'm sure everybody saw it. I know everybody saw it because it made a ton of money at the box office. So, really good film. Alright, so this is the Jocelyn, whatever people call it, the Jocelyn League. Um, this is the one that went out in theaters. Um, this movie's not very good compared to the Zack Snyder cut on HBO Max. Watch the HBO Max Zack Snyder cut. Night and day difference. That movie is so much better. I did hear they're going to release it. If they do release it, I will film myself throwing this video, throwing this in the river. Because I don't want to watch that anymore. I want to watch the Zack Snyder one. So, uh, Justice League, the crappy version. Aquaman, the more I watch it, the more I enjoy it. It's such a guilty pleasure film. Gosh, it makes me laugh. I love it. Shazam, probably my favorite DC Extended Universe. I don't really know much about this guy, but I really enjoy this movie. I cannot wait for Fury of the Gods. It comes out in 2023, I think. All right, Bird to Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I just call it Bird to Prey. Um, definitely the Deadpool of the DC Extended Universe. It's okay. The more I've watched it, the more I've kind of enjoyed it. I like Ian McGregor as Black Mask, because I like Black Mask the villain. And of course, Harley Quinn was the best part of Suicide Squad. So that's probably what like, yeah, we'll make a movie about her. The more I've watched it, the more I liked it. And the action in this movie is actually really cool, too. It's really good. Oh, I'm going to drop that. All right. And then, of course, Wonder Woman 1984. This is one of my least favorite movies of 2020. But again... Judge me all you want. I'm such a purist when it comes to this crap. I had to get it. So, Wonder Woman 1984. Not a good movie, but again, I had to get it. All right, so we got one more stack, and then we'll end this video. Thank you all for sticking with me.
All right, so again, this is going to be my last stack out of my first drawer of movies. Again, there are a lot more movies to come, so keep an eye out for part two and for part three. So this is my others category. This is where it's like, I don't really know where to put these exactly, and so I just call them my others category. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. So we have The Martian, A Star is Born, the newer one with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, the most recent one. 1917, one of the most technically impressive movies I've ever seen. All one shot. It only cuts like one time in the film. It's insane. It's just, it's crazy. Just Mercy, really emotional story. Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, even Brie Larson. All of them did a really good job. Super powerful stuff. It will definitely make you cry. It really will. So, if you're in the mood to cry, check it out. But overall, it's a really good film. Actually, the same guy who did this movie is directing the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Seven Rings movie, which is actually such a different type of movie, but I'm excited. We'll see what he'll bring to the table. All right, then we have Queen and Slim with Daniel Kaluuya. Um, really f interesting film, a little dark for some people, but it is a very good film. It didn't do very well at the box office. It was a very small release. Boys in the Hood, my friend Kyle gave this to me because he was moving. He's like, I need to get rid of some of my movies. He's like, I'll take it. I'll take any movie you have. So, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. The Shape of Water, I got it on sale because it won Best Picture, and uh, it was like 10 bucks. Um, it was... It's okay. I think Get Out should have won because Get Out's like one of my favorite movies. Because maybe I'm a little biased. But Shape of Water, it's not too bad. Some people, people either love this movie or hate this movie. I'm kind of in the middle. I guess more towards the hate. It wasn't my favorite thing ever. Straight Outta Compton, wonderful film about NWA. Such such a good job of telling the story. A little bit's a little Hollywoodized, as I call it. But overall, great performances, great music, great film. Really good film, actually. Okay. Creed, the first one. Michael, I got a lot of Michael. I got a Michael B. Jordan. Got a Michael B. Jordan kick going on here. Great movie. If you're a Rocky fan, you're gonna love this movie. This movie is great. Super good film. Creed two. Creed two is actually really good. Like I like. I like them both about the same. Creed two had some really good moments in it. Oh, the fighting was great. It was so good. The movie was fantastic. But and I, Creed three, I'm sure is gonna be fantastic as well whenever it comes out. And Michael B. Jordan's directing that, so that's pretty exciting. So we got The Rundown with The Rock. Uh, it's like one of his first, if not his first movie he ever did. And the movie's so fun. It's just one of those classic movies that I have to have. Because I saw it with my mom back in like 2003. I was like, I love this movie. I'm going to have this movie in my collection. So The Rundown. If you haven't seen it, really fun movie. So we have The Disaster Artist. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. It talks about like the creating of the movie called The Room, which is super iconic. One of the worst bad movies of all time, but it's still a lot of fun to watch. But this movie does a good job of showing how Tommy Wiseau, is that his name? He does, he's very dedicated to his work. James Franco does such an amazing job. This movie is great. It's super underrated. A lot of people haven't seen it. Definitely watch The Disaster Artist. Even if you're not a fan of The Room, it's kind of cool to see how this all came to be. So definitely watch this movie. Well, if you want, of course. Whiplash. Uh, this movie is awesome, especially if you're a music guy. It's so intense. It's so you know, like uh, J.K. Simmons really gives a, one of the best performances ever, and it's super. He's super intense. He's so intense, in fact, that it's actually hilarious. But you don't laugh because it's cheesy. You laugh because you're just like, if I was in that situation, I would be crying. I would be going home saying my life it sucks. It's terrible. But yeah, this movie is great. Super good movie. I love this movie. Ford v Ferrari. Um, I did not go into this movie with high expectations, but I left going like saying, man, this is actually a really good film. I don't know anything about cars. I do not know. The only thing I know how to do is check the dipstick on my car. Other than that, I don't know anything else about cars. But man, this movie was good. Super good movie. It's two and a half hours from the same guy who made Logan, actually. And it just zooms by. Get what I did? Zooms by. <laughs> But this movie rocks. This is a super, super well done film. Matt Damon gives a wonderful performance, and Christian Bale is great as, as well. The Black Klansman. This is the first movie with uh, John D. Washington, who also was in Tenet. He has a wonderful performance in this movie based on a true story. It's actually a lot of fun to watch. A little bit racist if you're not into that kind of stuff, but this kind of stuff did happen. So it's kind of, it is based on a true story. So 
a really good watch, really entertaining, uh, the Black Klansman. Lone Survivor. And some of these I'm just going through because just people have already seen them. The Upside. Clever to Slave. Makes me cry every time. Saturday's Warrior is a Mormon LDS movie. I'm LDS, Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, so... Um, yeah, this is a Mormon movie. <laughs> and the last one, and this list at least, American Sniper. So that was part one of three of all the movies that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to have the other videos uploaded, um, hopefully throughout this week, maybe the next one on Wednesday and the next one on Friday, so I can upload other stuff in between while doing that. But if you do like what you see, let me know down below what your favorite movie is, not just in these piles. What's your favorite movie of all time? Just let me know. And again, keep out, keep an eye out for probably Wednesday and Friday for the next couple of releases. Again, this has been Chandler Burton Entertainment. Um, I hope you all take care. Until next time.